Hi, my name's Steve, and this is the demonstration of Visco Lock on the new 2010 Can Am Outlander XTP800R. The Visco Lock system is a fully automatic locking differential. It is the industry's first. The one wheel will spin one quarter of a revolution, the other will automatically lock progressively and pull you over with the power of the one wheel. And we'll demonstrate this now. As you can see, the rear wheel is going to start to spin, and then the front wheel is going to pull me right up and over. Backwards, it will do the same. So Again, this can easily be seen if you switch it into two-wheel drive. Now we switch it back into four. Instant progressive lock. Too hot, too cold, depending on the weather and which seasons you ride, your helmet may not be doing the job for temperature control. To cover all the bases for winter and summer riding, here's a new helmet that can be changed to fit the bill. This is a new Zone uh, MX-1 technical helmet and uh, definitely more ATVers out there are starting to wear more of an open face motocross design helmet which is what we have here today and uh, with the Zone helmets out there they're a DOT and also an ECE rating and an ECE rating is basically a European Snell equivalent approval so it's a new approval that's coming to North America that's being more and more recognized so the Zone helmet line has that right from bottom to top models. Um, with the Zone helmet you're going to get uh, lots of flow through venting, uh, removable interiors so you can pull those out, wash them, put them back in. Uh, it also comes with a cold weather kit, which a cold weather kit is a breath guard that's included with it and also a headliner that goes up underneath the original headliner and blocks off all the venting so you can wear it uh, snowmobiling, you can wear it ATVing, uh, pull the cold weather kit out, dirt biking, and basically use it all year round. Talk about multitasking, get a look at this bad boy. Part trailer and part boat. They call it the float trailer. While visiting our friends at the All-Terrain Vehicle Association of Nova Scotia, we were introduced to this unique and very versatile rig. For hunters and fishermen, it is ideal because you can park your quad in the boat and trailer it to your destination. You could then pull it with your ATV to the fishing hole or load your quad back on and head out to that remote hunting spot across the lake. What a great idea. Here's the scoop on how it all works. We have here the float trailer. The float trailer is made, the multifunctional boat, barge and trailer in one. Like I said, it's a flat bottom boat. It has a front that opens up. See the flap coming down all the way. Once it's in the water, the boat will lie down a lot deeper and the flap won't go as deep as it goes now. When we're in the water, we can leave the flap completely down. For example, when we're diving, the diver can practically step off the boat and climb back on. There's about two to three inches left, so you have the same effect as with a Boston Whaler. It's practically unsinkable, and it gives a lot of buoyancy. Going to the side, you'll see the wheels. It's a trailer right now. The wheels are fully retractable inside this box that you will see on the inside here. With this winch, we can winch up the wheel, make it completely disappear in the box here. We close the door and it becomes a boat. The trailer itself has independent suspension, therefore the ground clearance is maximum. It's almost a foot of ground clearance underneath. It's great for um, fire rescue. It's great for hunting, uh, go to remote terrain, you don't have an axle in the way of any obstacles on the road. Behind it, right now, we have a, uh, a commercial 40. They're rated up to 35, 40 horse uh, for the small version and up to 90 
horsepower for the bigger 20 foot version. You could put bigger behind it, but we don't uh, encourage to do that. In front we see the tongue. It's a trailer version right now. This has two security pins to make sure that the tongue doesn't come up. These pins can be taken out by hand. Once we uh, unhook the trailer in the water, we take out these pins and we take off the hydraulic pressure right there. The whole tongue, as you will see in a moment, the whole tongue will come up and becomes practically a safety bar over the engine. This float trailer may be just the perfect solution to towing on the highway and navigating the waters all in one. Youth Rider Training, coming up next on Go Riding.